Every day, I wake up before the sunrise and begin my long walk. I go to fetch water for my father, little brother, and little sister. I can carry almost 25 liters by myself. This is the small pond where I gather the water. It's dark water, full of dirt and leeches. Every time I drink from this water, I worry the leeches will go inside my body and make me sick. If I could live without this water, I would. I think the animals feel the same way. Sometimes my father comes to collect water with me. He has many responsibilities and usually cannot help me because of his work. When he helps, I can get myself to school on time. He also tells me that if I study very well, good things will come to me in my future. I believe him. A year ago, my mother passed away. So I take care of my brother and sister. I am now their mother. That's my sister, Mabrit, and that's my brother, Kalayu. My mother taught me to cook. My father and brother say my injera is delicious. My mother would be very proud. I want to be a nurse. There are too many people around me who are sick and are having a hard time. I want to help them. I want to help my brother and sister so they don't need to carry water like me. In the evening, I spent some time teaching my brother math and my sister Tkrinya. Sometimes, Marvit and I pretend like we are planting a garden with onions and tomatoes. She knows the water is too far, that we cannot bring enough back home to plant. But I try not to talk about this. I want her to be happy. My father says he heard that the men are coming to drill for water, but we've heard this before and nothing ever happened. But then we heard the sound of trucks coming down the road, coming to our village. And then I saw the truck. I saw the workers. My father ran up to them and asked them so many questions. They drove all through the night to get here. Then they put these huge, heavy pipes into the ground. So deep, I didn't see how they could fit anymore. 
but they kept going down deeper and deeper and adding more and more. These trucks were so loud and made noises I had never heard before. The workers told us it can take hours, sometimes even days, before they hit the water. But they said don't worry. And then... My father was so excited. He was celebrating and jumping around like a kid. He picked me up in his arms and twirled me around. It was our happiest day. When I woke up this morning, I was so happy because I remember the new well. I don't have to be afraid of the leeches or getting sick anymore. I don't have to spend all day collecting water. And I can even see the well from my house. I can't wait to go to class today. Maybe I can be a nurse now. I wish my mother was here to see this. I think it will make her happy.